welcome to Pop Along RC, the RC car channel dedicated to RC car racing. And you know what? I think it is official. The summer, the summer's done. The summer is over. Um, what an amazing summer we have actually had here. It has been absolutely fantastic. Um, so much stuff we've got done. Starting out, ooh, seems like ages ago, when we went down to Mendip for the first round of the Iconic Cup. Been to South Hans, Halifax. Um, We've also done the revival. We've been outdoors doing our buggy racing. We had the pop along GP. Um, not to mention a bit of bashing here and there. We kind of been out and about doing so much this summer, making the most um, of the weather. And yeah, it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. But there's definitely a change and uh, the rain has kicked in. And it doesn't look like we're going to be getting outside again anytime soon. So um, this weekend, I was due to be racing at an outdoor event. But with the weather forecast being as bad as it is, I opted for sit indoor racing, um, headed back to our local club. Now, I have missed racing at the local club because um, we've had such a busy summer. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely loved it there. Um it was great to see some new faces down there as well. There's a few new kids down there. Uh, the novice class was thriving. Um, yeah, it's just really good. So I took with me today my GT12. So this is the Atom 3, which um, I haven't run for a very, very long time. And next weekend, I'm due to be racing the GT12 at the Charged RC event. So I thought, as I'm going to be running this car, it might be worth seeing where it's at. So I put it on the track today and it wasn't great, I'm not going to lie, um, but I spoke to a couple of the locals and they've given me a few little hints and tips. Um, from the first round, I was considerably slower than everybody else. Um, I did make some slight improvements in the second round, more changes in the third round, um, and I kind of got back up to pace with the other guys in my race. Uh, the main changes that I was making was to do with endpoints and also the expo on the steering. So um, I'm confident now that if I get some new tyres for this, get them all trued up, I will have a car. It's not going to win, far from it, but it will at least get round the track. So I've got my car set up ready for next week. Um, the fun event though, I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed that I wasn't involved and that was the truck race it looked absolutely brilliant today um i really do miss running my truck and uh, i've missed out on so many truck sessions down at mk over the summer uh, i was thinking about doing it however i've just made some changes to my truck because um the rules at the charged rc event again which i'm doing next week um, are not the same rules that we run locally so therefore I have made several changes to my truck which meant it's not actually road worthy right now because I've taken the motor out um, because I need to change it over to a torque tune motor whereas locally we run the core 21 so I didn't have a truck that I could run in the trucks today so let's take a look at what I actually have to change on my truck so super excited about running trucks at charged rc now here is my tamiya truck montex shell i think it's a montex shell yeah it's got montex shell on it um and i haven't had an issue with this car it's probably due a bit of a rebuild but um the problem i've got is this car 
runs at all the local clubs with the set up it's got in it. It is pretty much iconic cup spec in terms of the upgrade. So we've got adjustable turnbuckles, we have oil filled shocks, and in here we can see that blue um, drive shaft down the centre. So that car is um, set up for indoor carpet racing, and we can see here I'm running a 2458. Uh, gearing wise so that's a 24 pinion and the 58 um, spur normal tires and then we have some yeah racing shocks now this car has been used quite a lot i've been lending it out to friends recently so it could probably do with a bit of a service however i've got the charged rc event this weekend now um, i've mentioned it on the channel in order to change this shaft in the middle you have to take most of the car about and, and again to get to the spur gear in here it's a little bit of a job so i decided rather than have to do that i would get myself another car which is this one here um this is my 2555 so this is my outdoor tto1 this is the car that i've I was using at the Iconic Cup last year. Same changes have been made. We've got adjustable turnbuckles here. We've got the alley um, drive shaft and we have got, but these I believe are the Tamiya CVA shocks on there. And then over here we have this one and this is actually built as a truck. However, it's not been run. It is brand new, but I immediately always change to an alley drive shaft just because um, it's, it just makes sense to do it when you're building it. I think this is one of the originals. I tend to just throw them straight in the bin. And the reason this is a problem is because I've just read the rules for charged RC and I'm not allowed to run this, which means we're gonna have to take this apart to put this one back in because in order to fit that, we need to get different cups um, and it's gonna be a little bit of a mission. So. The choices I've got is I put this into this car here and run a brand new car I've never run before. Alternatively, as I've got work to do anyway, I could service my actual truck. In Whilst changing this, I can change over the gear in. Ah, oh, I wish it was simpler, but I, um, I've got to do this. So, what I'm probably going to end up doing is giving this car a service. I could potentially get both of them ready. Um, so I've got a backup car on the day. But that is uh, the next job on the cards. Oh, speaking of the Charged RC, I've also done this shell here. So it is another Montec shell. Um, am I happy with it? Uh, I prefer this one, if I'm honest, for, for styling. This shell is a little bit more front, flat at the front, but quite happy with the paint job. So obviously I'm running my e-tronics um, servo in this one. The best thing about today though was I got to go racing with my son. Hasn't raced for quite a few months. Um, he does have access to my entire RC collection, but a lot of the time he's not really that fussed. Um, he'll he'll go racing if he feels like it, and if he doesn't feel like it, um, I'm not going to bully him or pressure him into it. But he did get back down the track today. He ended up winning his final, so he is buzzing after that. He had a great race with a couple of the new young drivers down there. Um, so hopefully it's giving him sort of a bit, a bit of a pick me up and a bit of a bit of a push to get him back down the track racing a little bit more. Anyway, as I say, the summer is well and truly over, and I'm actually quite looking forward to getting back indoors and doing some club racing. It's worth noting uh, there are still spaces available for charged RC. If you are into your GT12, you can run. The GT12 on the Saturday all day and then there's the BRCA Nationals on the Sunday. At the moment I'm only booked in on the Saturday and I've got other classes that I'm looking to run on the Sunday. So I'm going to take a step back away from the, um, the Nationals. That being said though, 
I have ordered myself a new shell for this one because this one's a little bit battered. I've ordered myself some new tires. Hopefully it all comes in time. And um, I'm looking forward to getting better at GT12 racing. If you like what we do here at Popalong RC, like, subscribe, hit the old ding dong bell, and hopefully I'll see you trackside soon.